Hey, welcome back to the shop. Today I'm gonna to throw out a video on a way cool old school muscle saw. It's a still 051 AV. Uh, it's not a saw that I was even looking for. If you watch my prior videos, you know I just picked up a McCulloch Super 33 and I was on the hunt for a part saw. And in looking for that saw, I found one, but in looking for that saw, I stumbled upon this still 051 and it was just too good of a deal for me to pass up. So I jumped on it. Anyway, I'm going to walk you through it, show you what I picked up and uh, yeah, just a way cool saw. So let's get to it. There she is. Still 051 AV. Old school muscle. Man, I'm happy to have this thing. Uh, this is an early production saw, at least based on the uh, starter cover here. The old school still logo. So these were originally produced back in 1972. I'm not exactly sure the entire production run. These are an 89cc saw. Tons of torque. Overall, the saw is just in great shape. Obviously been used. Most of these were used by fallers. A lot of the parts just as they broke, you know, grab another one off another saw and throw it on. So some of these saws, it's hard to tell exactly what year they are. But like I said, she's just in great shape. The guy I got it from, he was a collector, builder of these old vintage saws. A lot of the 051s, the 050s, 075s, 041s. And he slowly but surely got rid of a lot of the stuff he had. This was the last saw that he had, along with a couple of boxes of parts that he gave me. Um... And he was just looking to get rid of it. So, like I said, it was just something I stumbled on. And it was just happy I did. Couldn't pass it up type situation. I'll run you through the features on the saw real quick. Ignition switch. Choke. Uh, throttle lock back here. She works. Over here, you got your decomp valve, spark plug down below. Uh, these saws year by year varied. This one obviously has got a lot of the muffler exposed. And as they progress through the production run, the covers back here got bigger to the point where most of the muffler was uh, covered up, almost all of it. Your carburetor adjustments are down below. You can see there is your idle adjustment straight ahead and then way back underneath here. Let's see if I can get you in there. There are your high and low on the right there. Back over there. So easy to get to, but uh, in low lighting conditions, I can see how it'd be a little bit of a problem to get back in there. Two massive and aggressive dogs up front. I'm always complaining that I don't have dogs on a saw, so lucky me. Half wrap. Your chain tensioners down here below. And back around to the old school still logo. Gas, easy to get to. And then your oil reservoir, it's up here also easy to get to. I'll pop the hood for you here. There isn't a whole lot to see underneath here, to be honest with you. It's got this little plate I'll show you. And these air filters are kind of a, a pain to get off. You gotta just 
get them off just perfect. Just had it. There we go. So that's that plate. You basically take these two nuts off and then you can get down to the carb underneath. Let's see if I can get this air filter back on now. It's got this long shaft right here. And then this, that's what makes it kind of difficult, but that was pretty easy. Obviously power head only, so I've got to get a bar for this. Uh, these were rated up to, I think it was a 30, 32 inch bar. Um, I've looked online and there's a 36 and then there's a 25, but there's not a whole lot of options. This is a three eighths or not a three eighths, excuse me, a 404 sprocket on here. So I think I might have a three eighths on the parts bin that he gave me, but I think I'm going to stick with a 404. Just an old school, cool muscle saw. I think I now have a big muscle saw from each of the major brands, which is pretty cool. Here's what the guy gave me. Just a little bit of everything. This was all in one box. The box was falling apart, so I just took it out, threw it on the floor for now. Then he gave me uh, this box. I won't go through it all, but just tons of parts, carburetors. Plates for the top, There's some for 050, 075. See some sprockets. It's all just all kinds of stuff in there. It's every part you could possibly think of. So you can see, this was just a deal I could not pass up. A lot of old school cool. Let's go to the backyard, I'll fire that thing up for you. Hey, thanks for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed that video. Just old school, cool muscle saw here. She looks good, she sounds good. I'm looking forward to getting a bar and getting her in the woods. So look for that video here, hopefully in the next few weeks. It's a deal, like I said, I just couldn't pass up. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.